Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we will discuss OLAP cubes. The full form of OLAP is Online Analytical Processing. It enables to quickly analyze multiple data dimensions, making it ideal for decision making and problem solving. Because OLAP can handle, multi, can handle massive volumes of data efficiently, it is very well suited for data mining and advanced analytics. Let us see how we can do this in S cases. I'm using here the employee data, which is available in the samples of SPSS folder. You'll have to go in, analyze reports and activate the OLAP cubes. I'll reset it. Now here, make sure you are having a continuous variable. Continuous means a metric variable. So here, salary, salary begin. There are metric variables. So I'll transfer salary here. Now here, categorical variable is necessary, non-metric. The example of non-metric data is gender, male, female. So I'll transfer gender here. I'll also transfer the job category. Three job categories are there, clerical, custodial, and managerial. Click OK. What are the statistics which I, which I want? So it will give me sum number of cases, mean, standard deviation. Now I don't require sum here. I don't require percentage of total sum. I don't require percentage of total n. Continue. Click OK. And I've got the results. Now you will see that by clicking here, you will get the drop down menu. Now I want to see that what is my average salary in clerical. So I'll get it mean. What is my average salary in custodial? So this is the male custodial mean salary. Similarly, managerial. If I want for females, I'll drop from drop down menu, I'll pick up female, female manageable salary. Now there are some more features of this also. Let us understand. Click here and go in pivot. Transpose rows and columns. Now slowly drop the statistics here and gender here. Also, the employment should be dropped here, employment category. Now you can see that the statistics is in my drop down menu and the categorical variables are in rows and columns. So here n is number of cases. So there are 206 cases. This is uh, in clerical, there are 206 females, 157 males. There are no, uh, in custodial, there is no recruitment or there are no females in custodial category. In Custodial, uh, in custodial category, 27 males are there. Similarly, female, 10 managerial females and 74 managerial males. Now I want to see the mean salary of all of them. So it will give me the mean. I can also get the standard deviation. So this is the way you can very efficiently use OLAP cubes, physically used for data mining. So for more videos on SPSS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can see my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos of SPSS. Please don't forget to press the like button. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter.